Hi, I'm Justin Thames, Director of Governmental Affairs for the Florida Institute of CPAs. And welcome to Impact Report, your go-to place for all things impacting the CPA profession in Tallahassee and across the state of Florida. So, I hope everybody had a good summer. I know that school's starting back for most of the kids out there, and we're starting to get busy here in Tallahassee. The legislature will be back uh, for committee weeks in September, so things are already starting to buzz around the, the uh, bills that are going to be filed and the issues that we're going to be uh, faced with during the 2020 uh, legislative session, we'll, which will actually be early this year. We'll start in January, so everything kind of gets pushed back a little bit for us on the uh, legislative front, so we'll be starting to bring you more information over the couple months uh, that we head towards December. So look out for more of these impact reports as we go along. So just a quick recap over the last couple months since we last spoke. Uh, we've been pretty busy around the state doing some legislative updates for some of our local chapters, also speaking at a couple conferences. Uh, we had committee days where all of our substantive committees get together and talk about policy issues that we need to be on the lookout for from the uh, advocacy side of things. So very helpful to have all of our committee members who do so much work during the legislative session. We can't do our jobs without them uh, get together and help us plan for the year. Uh, coming up, we're gonna be having our legislative policy committee meeting where we're gonna set our legislative agenda for the FICPA. We'll also be meeting with uh, several of you at uh, our accounting show down in Fort Lauderdale. So we've got a, a busy couple of next couple of months. Uh, next week, we're gonna be going to the Board of Accounts meeting in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, many of you asked about the implementation of the law that was passed, House Bill 977, related to the CPA licensure, the reduction of A&A hours, and the reactivation provisions that we talked about. The board is currently working through the rulemaking process and we expect those rules to be presented, uh, at least a draft be presented at this next week's meeting. So we'll be able to provide you more information on that as we go along. Uh, you may already know that the bill impacted those folks that are going in a renewal cycle ending uh, for June, 20, uh, June 2020. So uh, if you want to learn more, you can actually go to the DBPR's website. They've got some information uh, there as well. Uh, I mentioned the rules that the board is looking at. Some other things that the board is looking at right now is uh, how to deal with retired CPA status. Uh, see, states across the country are looking at uh, creating a retired status very similar to the inactive status, and it's included in the Uniform Accountancy Act. Uh, the board's been discussing that. I know here at the FICPA we've talked about that to some degree. So just something to put on your radar that we're looking into. Also, the board is going to hopefully finalize the continuous testing uh, rule that they're working on right now. Uh, current rules prohibit you from taking the same piece of the CPA exam in the same window if you fail it. Uh, this change would make it so you could uh, retake pieces of the exam continuously without having to wait. So for some of our students, I think that's going to be a good change once it gets uh, adopted. So uh, some things going on at the Board of Accounts. want to make sure we keep you posted on those. We attend all those meetings, so uh, we'll keep you in the loop as issues come up through those, uh, through, through those meetings. One thing looking at the legislative session uh, in 2020, an issue that we talked about this past uh, legislative session was the big push for deregulation. So we don't expect that issue to go away. We expect it to come back again this year, uh, even though it failed in the last session. Nationally, it's, it's a big issue. We see a lot of other states are having to deal with combating the deregulation push and uh, more so a lot of education that's going into that to explain kind of why the CPA profession is much different than some of the other occupations and professions that usually get lumped into the dereg bills. Uh, nationally, there's been a coalition that's been put together between the architects, engineers, and CPAs that's really making an effort to change the narrative on you know, what it means to be a CPA and all that you have to go through education uh, and then experience and then learning to, to get your license and maintain it. So uh, that is a big push nationally. I think we're in good shape in Florida. We've done a great job 
through working with our members of educating lawmakers on why the CPA profession is much different than some of the other professions that uh, usually get targeted as part of the DREG issue. Plus, the Board of Accountancy has done a great job of streamlining issues that we deal with uh, to make it easier for you to keep your license renewed, so uh, not to be overly burdensome from a regulatory standpoint. So we're in good shape there. Uh, I would say looking to 2020 also outside of the legislative piece, the 2020 elections are already gearing up. So you're going to hear more from us on some of the races that are going around the state and some of the candidates we're meeting with. The Florida CPA PAC is already meeting with candidates and trying to vet them and make sure that uh, we support the, the best candidates to represent the CPA profession in Tallahassee. So I know it seems like it was just yesterday that the 2018 elections were over, but here we are in a presidential election year and it's going to be uh, campaigns and TV ads. 24-7, depending on what part of the state you live in. So we're going to be very busy this year, and we're looking forward to engaging with you through the Impact Report and online and social media. We appreciate your involvement in our advocacy efforts, and as always, if you ever want to reach out to the Gov Affairs Office, please email us at govaffairs at ficpa.org. Thanks so much for your time, and we'll see you next time.